Josh here with Droid Monitor X, and today we're going to be talking about how to root the Verizon Wireless Galaxy S4 on the MK2 firmware. We're going to be using this forum over here on XDA, and I want to encourage you guys all to read the entire post before you start this process. It'll save you a lot of trouble. Okay, step one talks about setting up the USB drivers for your phone. Make sure your computer has the proper drivers installed, or you will run into connection problems when you're running the script. Step two is to enable USB debugging on your phone. So we're going to go to the phone here. And we're going to go into our menu options. We're going to click on more here and about phone. We're going to scroll down to the build number and we're going to tap that repeatedly until it enables developer options. Now we're going to go back and go into developer options and make sure that USB debugging is checked. Okay. All right, the next thing we're going to do here, we are going to scroll down and download this saferoot.zip file. I'm just going to put it on the desktop for now. Okay, once that is downloaded, we're going to extract the file. And just verify that you have the three files that you need. This files folder, the batch file, and the .sh. Okay, now we're ready for step three. We're going to plug in the phone. And it should say connected as an installer. You might have the enable USB debugging warning pop up right there. Uh, it didn't on mine, so we're going to go ahead and move on. And now the allow USB debugging warning showed up on my phone. So we're gonna go ahead and check always allow from this computer and hit okay. And now we're gonna restart that process again once we've allowed USB debugging. So we're gonna close this window out and hit install one more time. Okay, it's going to reboot the phone. All right, we're going to unlock the screen and we're going to press any key to continue. All right, now it's asking us to go into super user and update the binaries. So we're going to open up the app drawer, scroll over here to super SU. Hit continue. We're going to use normal recovery. Okay, disable Knox. Now we're going to go ahead and do the recommended reboot. And we're going to press any key to continue.
All right, now you are officially rooted on the Verizon Wireless Galaxy S4 MK2 firmware. This process works for MJ7 as well. Uh, just remember, if you want to install any custom ROMs, you're going to have to install Safe Strap Recovery. Thank your developers, and go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you can stay up to date on all these videos from Droid Moder X.